Hey folks, welcome back to the Cotswold Collectibles YouTube channel. I'm Greg Brown, president and owner of Cotswold Collectibles. This week we wanted to talk about the newest set that we have coming out. It's called uh, Darkon and Gore. Um, here, a little shot here of what the picture looks like. Um, many of you know who collected Super Joe back in the late 1970s would know that Darkon was the nemesis of Super Joe and Super Joe Commander and, and all the rest of the team from the 70s. Um, there has been different iterations of Darkon through the years uh, in 12 inch form, um, but we wanted to do our own iteration of this set. Um, I started working on this set, oh goodness, about three or four years ago. Kept tweaking and changing, tweaking and changing it, and finally we got it into a final form here. So in this video, what I wanna do is I wanna talk about what comes with the set, the features of the set, a little bit of the history behind each different thing that we did with it as well as kind of show you how you put things together and how everything functions. Um, so let's go ahead and dig in. The first thing you'll notice is the Darkon figure itself. Now I have to apologize a little bit. Um, we don't have the boots in yet. We get the boots in from Grunga Toys over in Brazil. And unfortunately, our post office lost the, uh, the boots. So we're waiting for the boots to come in. But nonetheless, we can continue on with this particular set. Um, each, each set includes an Elite Brigade figure um, that has a flocked uh, Darkon head that has been professionally flocked by Flock Concepts. Uh, Ray Cairo, you might know him as that. Um, the bodysuit is made by Grunga Toys, so we actually got that last year. And then the armor is actually, um, many of you know him as uh, Aaron Luck. Some of you might know him as Lucky Shot Leather. Uh, Aaron generally does uh, leather holsters, leather belts, leather, you know, different types of things made out of leather for G.I. Joe. But this was one of his early, earlier forays into in 3D printing. And so what you see is you see the vest, very much like what the vest looked like on the original Darkon, uh, but it's been modified to fit a 1-6 scale figure. And what's really nice is the lights actually function on the chest piece, just like the real deal does. It's 3D printed, so it's a, it doesn't have as, the flex like the rubber ones did in the original 70s, but considering uh, that this is handmade in the United States, it's pretty damn cool. Darkon also comes with, I would say his lightning sword. These are made by Matt Squatch Customs. So he comes with a lightning sword. And then he also comes with, um, we couldn't replicate the helmet that Darkon wore, which was basically it was like a skin diving helmet or something like that. But Grunga Toys came through for us and they have this beautiful mask that come, that you can add to it. And it's black with an elastic sling on it. It kind of looks like a welder's mask, but it has their own different, their own unique touch to it. Um, we thought about putting a color visor there, but we thought, no, we don't want to do that because Darkon has his very uh, menacing looking eyes. So we just left that blank. And so you can put that on him or just leave it off if you want to, just like the regular one was. The other thing that we did with the set is we went to Sean Huckster, AKA Huckster Industries, and we said, Sean, we want to give this guy something a little bit extra um, in addition to his, his chest blaster. So we sat down with Sean last year, actually, I think it started the year before that, and we started planning the set. And so what we ended up doing is we ended up getting a good old fashioned cell phone stand and then what sean did is sean took that then he took a regular metallic flashlight just like that just regular metallic flashlight and then he 3d printed this which is the, this is the most awesome part of it all so what this is is this is going to be like the laser cannon uh, we actually call it the energy blaster and what it does is you take the flashlight, you mount the flashlight on here, just pop it into place. And then what you do is you just slide it in. And this thing is built specifically for this. And then now you have the energy blaster. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a battery in here, but once you turn on the battery, and we'll show you later, this actually lights up a really bright green. So what you do is you twist this on here until it's nice and snug. And then you have the gun just like that. And it's just the perfect height for a 12 inch figure, Darkon or any of his, any of his cronies. Um, but we didn't stop there. What we ended up doing is we took this part, pop it off, slide it here, 
pop it here, just like that. And next thing you know, you have a little, it's almost like a little mini gun that goes on there. So Darkon can either take it like this or one of his soldiers can take it like this, operate it like this or operate it off of this as well. So it's kind of a two for one weapon system. So not only does he have his chest blaster, he has a sword, but he also has the energy blaster. The reason we know it's an energy blaster is what we did with this is we went with the theory or the concept that, that the Super Joe team created their own um, laser beam weapon system and that Darkon and his team had stolen those plans and renamed it the energy blaster. And so what we did is we also, you might remember these from other sets that have been made by Sean Huckster, we included the blueprints for the set and we have it where the information that would have belonged to Super Joel has been scratched off, marked over, and these are the diagrams for the Darkon Energy Blaster. So I won't read it to you. If you buy a set, you get to read it. It's very informative and very interesting. So it's a, just a little additional add-on. Many of you might be saying, well, what happened? What's, where's Gore at? Well, we decided to change things up with Gore. I'm not gonna take him out of the plastic, but I'll show you what it looks like. We couldn't replicate Gore the way he was back in the 1970s. He was taller, he's a humanoid. So what we did is we we, we actually came across um, this animal monster um, online at one of our suppliers. And we thought, you know what, it'd be a great, it'd be a great, you know, pet Gore. Um, we jokingly sometimes call it pygmy Gore, uh, but we thought it would be a nice addition to the set. He has a lot of the characteristics of the original Gore with the spiked back, his green, got fangs and everything else like that. So this is kind of his his uh, pet gore animal that he has. So you have the figure, the weapons, gore, blueprints. And then what we did to finish things off, as we've been doing with other previous sets, is we added a card. Kind of tells you the story of Darkon and what's going on and gives a little bit of the backstory of the laser cannon and stuff like that. So I. As mentioned before, we can't really do many comics, but we want to tell a story. We want to kind of create a sense of adventure with every set. So every one of these comes with a card that explains what it is. Finally, we're super proud of the packaging on this one. Um, David Howard, who does all of our packaging design for us, uh, we went to David and we said, David, you know, we've done a 1969 era red band type of design packaging and we've done an adventure team style packaging, but we've never done anything in Super Joe. Now our line of figures in this, in this area, we call them Cosmic Force. You'll start seeing that more and more in packaging as, as time goes on. Um, and such that is why this is under the Cosmic Force line name. But we challenged David to, to come up with the Super Joe style artwork, which is very distinct from Adventure Team, very distinct from any other type of design work. But David really went above and beyond with the artwork on this one. It shows dark on it, shows gore. It has that 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 futuristic bubble type of design, and then we even we even have the feature of, of the gun as well. So we were pretty we were pretty happy with how this turned out, and uh, we're excited about this being our. This is technically our second. Um, the, the first one we did under the Cosmic Force line was technically Nastor, which we will be releasing a updated Nastor later this year. This will be the first of many new Cosmic Force themed sets that we'll be releasing that had ties to Super Joe, as well as Falcone from Brazil. Next week, what we'll do is we'll be reviewing the third in the deluxe series, which is a Search for the Lost Satellite. Uh, it's packaging just like this. So we'll go into deep detail what comes with that set and kind of a little bit of the story behind it as well. So until then, make sure that you uh, like and subscribe or make sure you want to leave a comment for us and we'll see you next week.